everyone i am rahul mahapari and today we are going to discuss one very interesting concept of analysis that is difference between difference between the limit of real valued function and limit of complex valued function there is uh, a big difference between that two terminology so first of all uh, uh, we know uh, in a real analysis or real valued function we know um, uh, that uh, limiting concept or definition we are, we are not going to discuss the definition of limit actually but we know that symbol limit x tends to a of f of x and we say l if it is exist or whatever right these are the symbols but the symbols means what symbols means what obviously um, the domain of f of x is uh, subset of real number okay a that uh, f from a which is subset of r to r okay now uh, how we check the limit uh, at x equals to a of f of x suppose this point is a suppose this point is a and now when we check limit at x equals to a in real analysis or real valued function which domain is subset of r that time we check uh, you know left hand limit and right hand limit right so we check limit at a it means we check x tends to a we say x tends to a from left left hand limit and uh, we check limit x tends to a from right and we give the symbol plus sign or minus sign so whenever x approaches to a there are only two paths one is from left and another one is from right there is only two path and not other than that not other than that so there is only two path because the real line has a positive direction and negative direction and that's why we have two path to approach x when x approaches to a left hand and right hand and that's why there is a concept in the real valued function left hand limit and right hand limit right but you are not seen left hand limit and right hand limit in complex valued function why because because see here if i take complex plane now domain is a d which is subset of set of complex number right set of complex number and that means you can take any any number on a plane suppose i take this one as we have taken here x equals to a x equals to a right here x equals to a at a we have we check the limit of f of x so x equals to a on a real line and left hand and right hand right now i take any complex number suppose z0 z0 and now i try to find the limit so the symbol is limit z tends to z0 of f of z suppose equals to l like this same right we get the same Uh, uh, what we can say same symbols right symbols representation but this is a very different from this one very different very different this is the main difference x tends to a and z tends to z0 now see now see uh, i just take a complex plane here this is complex plane and here i take z0 right now where is the right hand where is the left hand path right hand path or left hand path like this no because when we approach to z z approaches to z0 it means z approaches to z0 may be from this direction so you are so called left hand path z may be approaches from this side so called right hand path but what about this z may approach to this z0 from this path can we say up path or can we say down path no because complex plane this is a complex plane having infinite uh, uh, on a complex plane we can draw infinite curve infinite path to approach that to particular point z0 maybe the path looks like this one this is z approaches to z0 from this path you know z approaches to z0 from this path maybe z approaches to z0 from this path maybe z approaches to z0 from this path right maybe z approaches to z0 from this path because this is complex plane 
so whatever concept in a real analysis about limit extends to a this symbol this symbol and this symbol have big difference big difference because here only we have two path and here we have a infinite path infinite path um, you know one example that limit x tends to 0 of sin x by x is equal to 1 right is equal to 1 in real analysis and uh, limit z tends to 0 of sin z upon z equals to 1 again here also one here also one but but it is not the case we cannot use this form as a formula in the complex this has a well known proof limit z tends to 0 sin z by z how it is one it is not one because of this because of this because this th this is the difference huh? z tends to 0 and here x tends to 0 x tends to 0 means suppose this is a real line this is 0 x tends to 0 means left hand right hand but on a complex plane on a complex plane you know here 0 and this 0 z tends to 0 maybe any part like this right so this is very big difference between limit concept in real analysis and complex analysis this is not the same uh, so many examples um, you uh, uh, you feel uh, that it is equal or it is same like a uh, what i say uh, trigonometric uh, identities like this but uh, we cannot take uh, all the identities from real to complex as it is we cannot take you can observe some formulae there there are some changes right so this is about limit concept in real and complex so infinite path only two path and that's why left hand right hand uh, limit that concept exists in real analysis but in complex analysis there is no terms of left hand right hand up hand down hand uh, whatever there is no concept of like that hand okay so this is the uh, difference and uh, why i am uh, telling you because Uh, try to keep that type of situation uh, in your mind okay so thank you for watching this video thank you very much